Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. Let's look at what this tool is and how to use it. All right friends, so this is a sliding T bevel. It is called a sliding T bevel because you can loosen this little lever and then you can slide this piece in any manner that you choose. <clears throat> now the reason for this tool is to copy angles. It is so you can find an angle and then tighten this lever back up and then use this almost as a square to where you can set it against your lumber and you can maintain that same angle. So maybe I don't know what my angle is. Maybe I have a piece that I want to reproduce and I'm not sure what my angle is on this. So I can move my sliding key bevel up to it And then get that locked on there. And then I can reproduce whatever angle this is. I can take it over to the, the circular saw, or the not circular saw, the um, uh, miter saw, and I can move my saw to correspond with this angle so I can reproduce the shape that I'm working on. So this is a really useful tool in a lot of different circumstances. It's really nice for doing siding, finding angles of roofs when you're trying to work up a gable. It's really productive for that. So this, folks, is a sliding T-bevel. One thing I would recommend is never loosen this lever too far to where it falls out because it's fallen out here in the shop before and it's taken a while to find it. So only loosen it as far enough to where you can move the blade and then tighten it back up. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. I appreciate the view, and I'd really appreciate you just smacking that likes up button, but not twice, just once, just once. Make sure to work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.